lots of people here, which is yep. great. Well, these, this is uh, the current cohort of teaching and learning online, uh, which was called, I think, Computers, oh, Language and Context when you did the MA. So. Okay, that's great. Um, from what I can see, I think uh, this is not the first time that these people have been here. Is that right? No, we came in last I week. I love Pob Seven's avatar. It's a great <laughs> dog avatar, and Steverino's robot. Wow, some nice avatars. There. Yeah, we were in last mm. week, Graham, and and did some practice. So. Okay, second time. All right. Okay. I mean, um, right. What do you want me to do, Gary? <laughs> Uh, I think but say what, a little bit about the kind of things that. To do? Uh, yeah, it's a good question. What do people want? What Graham to do? I think really talk through the kinds of things that you do, with in language learning in Second Life, and maybe give us show us some of the activities that you get students to engage in, just for as long as you have time. Okay, that's fine then. Right. Well. Um... Okay, we're in a little bit of a transition period with this um, island. Because we, we basically, if you want to go and have a look over at the notice board over here, the, where the map is, you'll see, hopefully, that there are three islands. So we have um, three islands. Clicking on this map will give you landmarks to various places. And clicking on the words on the left-hand side will give you um, sort of clues, if you like, to what's there. And... I think to understand these islands, you have to realise that they were set up for teenagers, and they were set up in a um, quite a few years ago now, four years ago, where um, the teenagers were the only um, people allowed to be here. So this is why we have such a big space here because we, the teenagers were really going to be trapped um, on the island. So we wanted to produce enough interesting spaces for them not to be bored. Um, cut a long story short, um, the teenage part of Second Life sort of merged with the main adult part, and um, we're left with these three islands now. But because we spent quite a lot of money um, developing them, we uh, have decided to keep the content as is. But um, we are now currently in a position of offering um courses short courses to adult students um mainly in the middle east and north africa regions where the british council have decided that second life is uh, an interesting uh, prospect for students so we have started doing in the last uh, we we started in the summer but it didn't really go off didn't really get off to a good start and so we started again in december and we've been um doing um, short conversation classes with students and also um, we've piloted an IELTS preparation course as well, mainly focusing on the speaking part and, and introducing students to the other parts as well. That's what we're doing and we're planning on seeing how popular that is and I'm going to be writing a report in March and then the people at the British Council in Egypt will be deciding whether they think it's something worth pursuing or not. There's a lot of interest in particular in IELTS um, and in using this as a way of uh, giving um, learners an opportunity to come together and, and speak in an interesting um, environment. So that's your introduction. Any questions? You're all very quiet. I hope this is not just going to be me speaking and you listening. But if it is, that's fine. It would be good to hear some of your voices. Apart from just me and Gary. Or chat, if you prefer. No mic? Okay. All right. Can I just ask you to type in um, type in questions or comments as, as we go along then? Because... Um, <laughs> That's not a dog's dinner, I hope, Pop. Um, 
Okay, so what I'm going to be doing then is I'll, I'll just take you to a few places. Um, I hope we don't lose people on the way. But, um, <laughs> pedigree chum. Mmm, nice. <laughs> um, okay, so um, what I'm going to ask everybody to do is if they can click, if you look at the map, you can see on the where it says the student suburbs. So that's the bottom right hand square, and there's a big um, section there which says student suburbs. Click on that, and you should get a landmark. And okay, don't worry, Th those of you who do see the map and who can click on it if you click on it and um, what I'll do is I'll get my helper Baldrick to uh, pass you a landmark if you don't get it so the main way of getting around I'm sure you know in Second Life is through uh, landmarks or slurls slurls are basically Second Life URLs and that's a web page but when you're in Second Life, the best way is actually using landmarks. So if you've clicked on that um, student suburbs part of the map, then you'll have a landmark in your inventory. So if you open your inventory and then go to, um, or put in the search of the inventory and just look for student suburbs or put the first part of it in, you should find the, uh, the landmark. Click on that and then teleport over there see how many of you can do that those of you who don't go there I will um, transfer a, a landmark to you so what I'll do is um, yeah if you give me the, uh, go the landmark as and, well um, Graham I can pass it to people I can stay yeah, and, and, sure. and help people get there and then when I go I can find other people because I've got everybody as a friend so Okay. So right. if you go, give me the landmark so, and go, and then I can uh, help people who either can't see it because everything is purple to them, um, or um, yeah, yeah that's a bit not, worried. Not, the purple, the purple haze. Yes, I think. Okay. Right. I'm gonna hand out landmarks to people as well, actually, from my other avatar. So if you want to click on that, and um, that should take you where we want to go. The reason why we're going straight over there is that really is where most of them, this is our arrivals area, but where most of our classes and events take place is over in the student suburbs. It's the most useful space that we found in Second Life is a, a large sandbox area really for a lot of the things that we want to do. So it's kind right, of right, ironic that we spend a lot of time yeah, we were in the sandbox last week, so people should have that URL yeah. anyway. Yeah. Okay, right. Teleport and fail. Okay, let me see if I'm giving the right one or not. Then. Uh, if I can go over there. Do you, I mean, if you want to just meet at the sandbox, everybody should have that from last week. Yeah, there are some people definitely able to go. Some people have disappeared anyway, so let's give it another go. People are quite new to, to the space, uh, Graham, so they're not always sure where things like the inventory are. And um, but... Of course, yeah. Right, I think it's, it is working because people are starting to sort of go over there. Yeah. I think the few people who are left behind we can actually Okay. Student suburbs. No, not the Avalon Learning. Don't go to the Avalon Learning sandbox, that's another one. Student suburbs. 
I'll give you another landmark. Funky. I've given him one, I think. Right, I'm going to head over there then, Gary. That's all okay. right with you. Yeah, sure, sure. How are everybody else doing? Um, Prime Dragon, do you know what you're doing? Have you got the, the landmark? Steve, how about you? MSOD, who's that? Do we know who that? Do I know who you are? Are you joining us? Are you part of the group? Maybe not. read my mind. Yeah, you'll need to move into the space nearer Graham. Um, you'll need to move into the space nearer Graham because you won't be able to hear him otherwise. So not this Graham, the other Graham. Graham blue coat rather than... Keiko, you need to actually go into the green area. <laughs> 